we're at the OSU Swan Research and Education Center. The center functions as a research unit and an education teaching unit for undergrads and graduate students. Use pigs for uh, numerous classes of our undergraduate classes uh, that we teach through animal science and then also to train and educate graduate students. Here at the Swan Center we've had a proud history of maintaining a, a purebred Yorkshire herd. We're one of the few universities today that would have purebred swan available for students to use in class and for our judging teams and so forth. Uh, they're high quality, uh, well respected. This place is very unique as far as the facilities. Uh, the facility, the way it's set up, the way the the, the manure is handled, the, the air, keeping air quality very well. You're not going to go to a university and see this type of facility anywhere. Uh, early on we, we uh, performed lots of work in improving the environmental footprint of swine facilities. So uh, we have one building, maybe two buildings here that we can actually do uh, mass balance studies where we can collect all the gas coming out, uh, all the waste that's exited in the building and put that on a per pig basis to uh, calculate the environmental footprint of one pig or groups of pigs and so forth. So today we're more on the um, feed additive side with the uh, veterinary feed directive and its implications on the swine industry. We're, we've moved in that direction to look at evaluating other products besides antibiotic inclusion in swine diets. This so facility has kind of been revamped here in the last couple of years. We've kind of separated the facility out uh, where you have the research side of things with the kind of basis on most of the commercial industry. On our purebred side of things where we do most of the teaching and doing classwork and stuff, we have a group of students that work on that side, uh, the undergrads, and Dr. Carter has his grad students. He usually has five or six grad students and he has a couple undergrad students that work on the other half of the farm. They're in charge of running this farm. Uh, we make it feel like it's their farm. Um, I want them to get that kind of aspect to them that they're, it's not us here doing the chores for them or forcing them to do chores. I like to see them learn how to do the detailed work, be a good employee for somebody on down the road because that's what I feel like we need to train those students to be good employees here at the university and get them used to having a good career later on in life. The swine industry has a labor shortage and so they're looking for good people and most of our, you know, lots of our students today are from non-farm backgrounds they may, may have not inter ever interacted with pigs. So we can, through our teaching efforts and our laboratory efforts, get them out here, introduce them to pigs, uh, let them get up and close and personal, let them hold that baby pig, uh, and which may you know, trigger something within them that they decide to go on and as a career in the swine industry. So uh, that's really important, we think, that uh, uh, that interaction, that training for the undergrads to, uh, even if they don't go to work in the swine industry, they still have a good understanding of what we do and why we do it. It's good to see the students get to handle work with animals that are very high quality. Uh, you don't go to very many universities that have really outstanding animals to work with.